Hey beauties, I'm Roxanne, welcome back to another Spruce News video. So today I'm going to be doing like a chatty get ready with me. I've got a load of new products that I want to test out and I have this basket full of new makeup and I never get a chance to review every single one of the products, not on camera anyway, so I, I want to try and incorporate more of these videos where I try and bring them all into one video. So yeah. Let's just get into it. Not everything that I'm going to use today is new, but there are quite a lot of new products and I thought we could just have a chat and get ready. So I am going to go in with some primer first. This primer is by a brand called Wonderland. They contacted me, I think it was on Instagram or Twitter. I can't remember, but they asked if they could send me some products and I was like, hell yeah. So I re received, I think it's like two or three products from them and this primer is one of them. I've not tried it yet and I've had it for a few months now to be honest, probably about three months. I've just not had a chance to review but today is the day. So this is called Studio Finish Primer. I'm just going to take some of that and just put it on my skin. It feels like a gel consistency. It's nice. It feels really smooth on the skin. It feels like a little bit wet. I don't know if that that's how it feels but it doesn't feel it's not actually wet but it feels like slightly wet i don't know how to describe it how weird that's actually quite nice it feels really like smooth like cream like i'm going to do my eyes first as i always do and i'm going to use the colored rain beauty rust palette i've been wanting to review this for ages and i just haven't so let's try this today this is what the palette looks like Really, really beautiful. I saw Stephanie Nicole review this and I was like, I need that in my life. She always picks really good palettes and I trust her review so much. So I'm going to, I'm going to prime my eyes first. I'm just going to go into the Conceal and Define Concealer that on my eyelids. So I've not long got home from work and I thought I should really do a review. Gary's out, so I thought I'll just make the most of him not being in the house. So that is what I'm doing. I love this concealer. The Revolution makeup has taken me by surprise. It's so amazing. So first I'm gonna go in with Natural. This is just plain shade right here. I'm just gonna blend that into my crease and all over my eye. So I have some exciting news. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you should, first of all, please do. Um, I'll link my at tag here. But I'm getting a puppy which is so amazing. I'm so excited. We pick him up in about two weeks and he's a cross bulldog with a Preza Canario, which I can never pronounce by the way, but he's going to be a big boy, really big dog. And I was quite apprehensive at first, although I've always had big dogs, like my family have always had quite big dogs, like Rottweilers. I was quite apprehensive because I know he's going to be very, very hard to walk if he's not well trained. So we're going to look at training him, doing classes and things. But anyway, I was quite apprehensive, but now I'm really, really excited. I cannot wait to get him. And I'm going to be doing some videos on him as well, introducing to you guys, because he's going to be a massive part of my life. So it's very, very, very exciting. How pigmented are these shades? These are so nice. Look at those. Oh! So stunning, that's so lovely. We pick him up in two weeks, I think it is two weeks, and we've got to go shopping to buy all these bits, so I'm so excited to go dog shopping. Right, so now I'm going to dip into this shade right here. This is called Recharge, which is like a really nice warm brown shade. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and just deepen up my crease. Oh, that's nice. So we've decided to name him Bear, and I'm going to create Bear an Instagram page as well, so you can follow him when I get it. <laughs> I feel like I love dogs more than people a lot of the time. They're just more loving, aren't they, than people? I'm not looking forward to picking up the poop at all. But he'll get me out of the house a lot more, I think. He'll, you know, make me exercise because I have to walk him so often. And... Yeah, it's going to be really good for me and Gary, I think. And we kind of wanted to get a dog before we get married this year. And this is so pigmented. Like, I'm really not putting a lot on my brush and this is just crazy. But we wanted to get him before we get married. So he's used to being with us. We 
we've already found a place that we can, they call it onboarding, where they have him overnight and they'll walk him and feed him and love him. And it's like a proper family that do that. So he's fine for on the wedding day, we've got that sorted, but I just want him to feel comfortable and he's gonna be like an extra part of our family. And I also wanted to get the dog before we decide to have children because, well, a child, I only want one child. I'm just so excited to get him. This shade is so nice. What? Okay, so now I just, I think I want to intensify the outer corner a bit more, so I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is called Dusk. Going to put that in my outer corner and bring that in again slightly. I was talking at work today, I was having a conversation with um, some of my colleagues about being an introvert and an extrovert. And I am quite a loud person, I talk to anyone, I'm really quite friendly, so I like to think I am and I was sort of work that they believe I'm, I'm an introvert I was really quite surprised at that I thought I was quite an extrovert but then a lot of my characteristics and things that I do like I'm, I'm very much a home girl I like to be in the house you know I do like to socialize but I'm not really like a massive socializer I won't I rarely go like properly out now like clubbing or anything like that like I prefer to have a really nice meal and few cocktails or prosecco or something like that I just think I've changed so much like my whole attitude to life has completely changed I don't know whether I've lost the fun like I feel like I've just become really boring I don't know about you guys do you ever feel like that I just feel like I know you don't have to go out to be interesting or anything like that. I know you don't have to go clubbing to be interesting but I do feel like I should be doing a lot more with my life while I'm young and one thing that I really want to do is travel a bit more and explore and really try and enjoy being young because I just feel like life's just going to pass me by so quickly. Like think of this year already, we're like almost at the end of March which is insane. Time just goes by far too quickly. So now that I've done that, I'm going to take some concealer and I'm just going to pop it in the centre of my eye. I'm going to take a flat brush to do this because I just find it a lot neater. I'm so bad at doing this by the way. You guys know, you see my videos. <laughs> I'm just the worst cut creaser in the world, I think. I'm just terrible, I can never get it straight. It's like you have to concentrate so much to do this. I've not done that very neatly, but it's fine. It's all good. Now I'm gonna take a flat brush and this shade right here, which is called Dream. This is the only shimmer shade in the entire palette, which is like a nice, coppery goldy colour. I'm just going to apply that over the lid. I've been really enjoying creating makeup looks lately. Like obviously I want to do more than just makeup looks. I like to do fashion videos and things like that but makeup for me at the moment has been so much fun. Like I've really really enjoyed creating makeup looks for you guys. I feel like I love that in like the inner corners but not for the rest of the lid so what I'm going to do is take dusk and I'm going to cover three quarters of my eye with that shade let's try and I'll blend it in here first I'll start on the outer corners and see how far I want to go in first with it I just quite like the intensity of dusk and I feel like that glitter shade just slightly ruined it so I'm just going to it a bit more don't worry if you go over in the outer corners by the way you can totally clean that up with the baby wipe or a makeup wipe that's much better now that you see it's now that it's more intense there and lighter in the inner corner I just don't like it all the way across my lid this palette is so beautiful I think it cost me 28 pound it was a limited edition palette but I'll link it below if I can find it anywhere Ta-da! That's much better. That is much better. I'm just going to take this makeup wipe and just wipe the, any excess that's fallen off my face. And I just tap it because I know that I'll put primer on, which is fine. There we go. Now the eyes are done, I'm going to just apply some foundation. So I'm just going to use my top foundation. Apply that all over my skin. I love this foundation so much. It's such a lovely foundation. 
you can build it up, you can have it quite light, it doesn't have to be too full coverage. I would just definitely recommend it. Hopefully they'll bring out a few more shades because I know their shade range is quite limited. This is the part where you will need to up your eyeshadow if you really desperately want to. I kind of like it the way it is, so I'm just going to leave it. I want to go for like a more bronzy look today, so something a bit warm, you know, some, what I'm feeling. Just going to take this Revolution Luxury Powder, just to slightly set my foundation, otherwise I'm going to be shining like the sun. This is, if you want a good setting powder, this is actually really good. It's called, it's a banana powder and it's so affordable but it really works it helps get rid of my oiliness or at least control it now it's, i think i'm gonna bronze so i've got this summer of love triple baked bronzer and this is by i love makeup or i heart makeup it, they're the creators of makeup revolution and this is what it looks like i've never tried this before i've taken a picture of it for my instagram but i haven't actually got round to testing it out so let's see that today so I thought it looked quite similar to the Benefit Cosmetics one, uh, like the Hula bronzer. So I really don't know whether it will be any good, but let's just see. So I'm just going to dust that over my face. And it actually is quite nice. It's really subtle, not too intense. I hate bronzers that are so intense that you can really tell you've got a lot of bronzer on. This is buildable and it's not too powdery either. Quite nice. It gives you just a nice bronzy look. Bring it down to your chest. If you want to go bronzer then just go for it i think that's enough for me that's actually a really nice bronzer i think that cost me four pound or three pound so i'm going to just apply some charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter before i apply my blusher what i'm going to do with this is just dab it where i put highlighter this is perfect if you just want a little bit of colour but not too much. It's one of my new Holy Grails, I love it. If you want to watch my video, I'll link it above. It's so nice. I'm just gonna pat that in. Just gives you like a really nice shine. Stunning. For blusher, I'm going to try this sleek makeup blusher that I purchased a few weeks ago. This is what it looks like. Really nice orangey tones. It's like very, very beautiful, very subtle really beautiful i'm just going to take my brush and i'm going to dip i'm going to go into with this one right here which is a little bit more orange like coral just going to put them on my cheeks just to warm up Ooh, it's nice a little bit powdery but nice it's not too intense which i quite like because you don't want to look like a clown this is what i say every time i put blush on but you just don't it's so good it's so nice I like it. It's really nice. Recommended. I got this parcel today and this is from a company called So Me. And I've already swatched these so I can find out which shade I am. And I'm Mocha. This is for your eyebrows. And I know I never do my brows ever. I'm sure people watch my videos and are like, girl, please just do your eyebrows. Um, <laughs> but I never do. I never do my eyebrows because I have quite dark eyebrows anyway and they're not they're quite full so i don't really feel like i need to but i'm going to today so this is what the so me brow kit looks like you get two little brushes in there and then you get dark shade and a brow shade just to go in underneath your brows and it's also got a really nice mirror included in that you also get stencils which none of them <laughs> actually work on my eyebrows because my eyebrows are so thick so they are wasted on me, but that's okay. If you've got thinner eyebrows than I do, then I guess they would be perfect for you. But yeah, let's just do my eyebrows because <laughs> that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm going to take this small angled brush and I'm gonna dip into the dark shade and I'll just start filling it in. I never do my brows, so these are probably gonna look like ridiculous, but it might look nice. It might not, but it might. See all these people that are like got all these brow kits, but I understand if you've got very, very sparse eyebrows, why you would fill in your brows. And some eyebrows look amazing, like amazing. Um, and then you get some that look ridiculous. Like you just think, 
I don't know whether you've looked at yourself in the mirror. I don't know why you think your eyebrows are so high. But I guess each their own. Everyone likes their brows the way they like their brows. So I don't like to do much with my brows. As you can tell, I'm useless at this. I don't feel like I need a lot, but it actually is looking quite nice. It's like filling in where some of the, the hairs are quite thin, or there's like a small gap. Just fill that in quite nicely. I think I went a bit too high on that like bit. I have to say, but my eyebrows are one thing I really do like about my face, because they are, they're not even, but I just like how thick they are, and they're quite prominent on my face. I quite like that. Right, so now that is slightly done, I'm going to dip into the other colour that it comes with and just put that into my brow. Brighten that up a little bit. This is so cute. Such a really nice kit. I've never heard of Sew Me before, but that actually works really nicely. It is slightly dark, but I quite like the intensity. But I'm going to go in with some Control Freak NYX Brow Gel. And this is just clear, and I'm going to just brush through it slightly. I think they look pretty good. I'm probably terrible at doing eyebrows. You're probably thinking, no, they don't rocks, but I think I quite like them. They do look very intense, don't they? Ooh. Next up is mascara. So I've got this Makeup Revolution Amazing Curve Mascara. I've not tried this, it's still in the wrapper. I did like a little bit of a haul on the Makeup Revolution site, but I haven't used hardly any of the makeup that I've purchased. So today's the day. It's got a nice curved um, applicator. It's quite a large applicator. I can imagine if you've got small eyes, you'd get mascara everywhere. I don't think it brushes through my lashes. It kind of just lifts them a little bit. Mm, I don't know whether I like it. It feels just a bit, I don't know. It's like it's just, sticking and then lifting but not combing through properly. I feel like if there was any more on there, it'd clump my lashes. Sorry, my camera died again. So, I uh, mm, don't like this mascara at all. It started to clump my lashes and it doesn't comb through them very well. So I don't recommend that. That's called Amazing Curve by Makeup Revolution. I mean, it looks okay, but if I put another coat on, ugh, no, 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 no. That's, I'm not using that again. So finally, lips. So I bought these two little beauties. They're called Oversized Lipstick Pencil by Flora from Spain. I've never used them, so I thought today's the day to use them. I'm gonna go with the nude one rather than the red one, I think. So let's just apply that. It's really, it's massive. I like to apply lip pencils as lipstick. I feel like it lasts longer. And what's also good is that you can line your lips really well and overdraw them if you want to. Ugh, no, I don't like it. Let's wipe that off. <laughs> That's too light. It's too light for me. It'd be nice this as a, just as a lip pencil, but not as a lipstick. Right, so let's go in with the Makeup Revolution Retro Luxe Matte Lip in the shade Echelon. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly either. Makeup Revolution's lipsticks are more expensive than a lot of their other makeup, and I don't know why. I've never tried them, so I don't know if they're very good, or whether it's because lip kits are a thing, like they're so popular, aren't they? Since Kylie Jenner come out with hers, we'll see. It comes with a lip pencil and a lipstick. Let's line my lip. Essentially, this is the same color I just had on. <laughs> It's a little bit darker. It's a little bit darker than the one I just had on. Let's apply the lipstick. It comes in a really nice packaging though. I do like the rose gold copper look. Look at that, it's bent. I can't say it's my favorite liquid lipstick ever. Like it immediately feels really drying on my lips, but it's, uh, it's not bad. Nice. Right, so I'm gonna apply a little bit more highlighter and then I'm going to fix my hair, jump back on camera and show you the finished look. We'll be close. We'll be close. That's it guys, this is the final makeup look right here. I really enjoyed doing this video with you guys. I think it's been so much fun to try new makeup, talk it through, talk about a few bits that's happening in my life. I um, love the Colour Rain eyeshadow palette. That's probably my favourite thing out of all of this that I've tried. Like the Sew Me eyebrow 
kit as well, so it's quite edgy. I don't usually do my brows, but I do quite like how they look. Probably need to work on it a little bit, but there we go. Hated the liquid lipstick, if I'm honest. It's really drying. My lips feel crusty. Mm, no, would not recommend it. Didn't like the mascara either, unfortunately. Wasn't great. Loved the blusher, loved obviously the highlighter, Charlotte Silvia, love it. Like the primer, would I reach it again? I don't quite know, mm, but it's, it is quite nice. And the bronzer, bronzer was really good as well. So yeah, that is it, that's my video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that jazz. I love you guys, thank you so much for supporting me always, and I'll see you next time. Bye.